guys, I'm going to show uh, everybody how we um, have created how we have created a workflow for our old new distributor checklist. So we used to have a Word document checklist. On the top was pertinent information about the new distributor. On the bottom was, you know, a list of things that needed to happen. So we've automated that process and it starts <coughs> here in SharePoint. So Andrea um, is part of the Sinlon Contracts group, and she gets a new contract and she uploads it here under the appropriate folder. All of the documents for that new distributor will be located here in Sinlon Contracts, and you can see there's currently five members of that group, and those are the only five people that would have access to those contracts. From there, she's going to go into the Sinlon Distributors uh, SharePoint site. This is, as you can see, has 125 members. This is open to all Sinlon distributors. Um, the reason she's going to go here is this is where our master distributor list will be. Um, contact information, website information, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, all for our Sinlon distributors as they come on board. So she's, right now you'll see I just added a Kino Davis Services, but we will have all of the distributors listed here, and then as we get new ones, they'll be included in here as well. So she has uploaded the contract. She's going to come in here and hit new, and then it's going to pull up this form. This form has a field for every single um, piece of information that was on that old Word document. So the new, new distributor name, the existing company name, mailing address, website, etc, etc, etc. She's going to put that all in here and hit save. When she hits save, a very, very, very special thing happens. All of these tasks and things to do are created in the Sinlon Distributors Onboarding Planner Group, okay? So, um, all of these tasks that you see here are going to automatically be created and assigned with um, with due date to the appropriate personnel. So let me show you how that goes, how that looks here. So for Kino Davis Services, it's templated. It's going to come over. I see that I need to um, do their social media and website consultation, and then I need to do, announce uh, them to the network and do a press release. John Knox needs to schedule installation training. Notice there are deadlines associated, 10-22, 10-22, 10-6. Different deadlines based on when this needs to be done in order for um, everything to process quickly. You can see Laura has the bulk of the workload when a new distributor comes on board. So that is all those tasks that are created. Well, that seems nice and simple and easy. Um, and and I'm going to show you a little bit about what it took to make that happen. But also here. Um, I've, I've edited this plan so that everyone will be notified, send notifications about task assignments and task completion to everyone's feed. So that little feature right there means when Karen Cox says she's done, we will all be notified that that has actually been accomplished. Um, and then we will see if things are overdue in here and this will happen for each distributor. So let me show you, just so you guys kind of understand how these workflows work, let me show you what makes that possible. So um, there's this, this little uh, product called Flow from Microsoft. And you can start from new or you can uh, kind of pick a template. There's different templates that are available. I'll just show you guys really quick. You can kind of grab any of these templates and then make them your own. For example, um, <clears throat> you can say, let's see, um, there, get today's weather forecast from my current location or send a customized email when a new SharePoint list item is added. That's kind of the one that I used, um, but I kind of started it from scratch. But all these different recipes, per se, to automate things to make your life easier. So we'll go to My Flows, and I'll show you the one that I created for that. I can also add owners to this flow um, so that if something happens to me, like I can add Laura in here. So if she wants to come in here and have access to this flow, then now this flow will show up under her flows. Um, but let me come back to my flows here. And you'll see that um, maybe it's under send a cust. Okay, so basically... Um, that's the recipe I started with, but you'll see it gets a lot deeper than that. So here's edit flow. So this has when a new item is created in SharePoint, okay, and you can see I set it up when a new item in the Sinlon distributors list, distribution list is created, then I want to send this email. You guys will all receive this email every time a new distributor is added. 
says, hey, we've just signed up this distributor. It's pulling in dynamic data from that form that Andrea filled out. And then it's giving a link back to all the details, okay? It's like, okay, send the email. Then I want you to make the first task. And it's like, okay, this is a task for Laura. So Laura needs to do this welcome kit. Well, then I want to make the task for Laura, but then I want to update that task for Laura so it adds some relevant information to the description of the task. So you can see I'm pulling in dynamically the link again to all the details, and I'm putting in details for her on the description. So anyway, I repeated that process uh, 11 times, changing the um, changing the people and the, the description of what needs to be done. You can see here, um, as I get into task four, it becomes a Karen task. You can see where I've where I've added the due date. So if you click on this, you'll see that I've created regular expressions that says take the date created and add 30 days. So that's how the due date's created. Um, this one has a start date. Well, on this one, I was saying, well, don't. I had a regular expression to not to start it until. Uh, seven days after it had been created to give time for other people to do what they were supposed to do. So basically that carries down through all 11 tasks and the very last task is because Sue Thomas is an unplanner is I actually send her an email that asks her to please um, set up a line of credit instead of adding a planner task and then it gives her the relevant information from that particular uh, distributor, new distributor as well. And so anyways, this is the flow um, and then you can see, and this is me, all my tests, but you can see if it succeeded or failed. You can see why it succeeded or failed. I can see down here, the last time I tested it, that it failed on the task 11 sequence. And I actually can come in here and it will tell me why. And I can see, because I had an extra, I had a comma when I shouldn't have had anything. So, so anyways, this sort of workflow process can be created to really automate a ton of things that we do so put your thinking caps on and think from HR onboarding you know this we're onboarding distributors but what about when we're onboarding our staff um, you know this task when I said I wanted to create it here I'm edit this flow when I said I wanted to create this task I didn't just have to create one task and plan and in the that particular plan I could have made a plan <coughs> a task for IT I could have made a task for for the warehouse, I could have made a task for you know sales and marketing. I can add to all of these different plans in my flow. It's, it doesn't all have to be in the same plan. So keep that in mind as well. But I just wanted to show you what went into creating that workflow that is now up and running. And um, please let me know if you have questions.